Can you please start the role play? Good afternoon. This is Dr. Mohsin. And how can I address you? Yeah, you can just call me uh, Miss Smith. Hello, Miss Smith. How is everything? Um, well, actually, I am here for a refill on my prescription um, for high blood pressure. Okay, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss Smith. Is there anything else I can help you? Um, yeah, I also smoke and I already know it's not good um, with my high blood pressure. And I was wondering if you can offer um, any tips or give me a prescription to help me stop smoking. Um, or at least, you know, let me know what options there are out there available to me. Okay, yeah, that's a good thing from you that you're starting to look for something uh, that can help with cigarette smoking, actually. But let me ask you first some questions. Uh, how, how many cigarettes per day did you smoke? Um, usually between 12 and 15 cigarettes a day, but I, I try to avoid smoking, not to avoid smoking around my family. So, you know, that also helps to keep it under control. <clears throat> and does it work? Um, not as well as I would like. I tried quitting in the past. Um, it worked, but then, of course, you know, um, I am a bartender. So all at, um, every evening, most evenings, I am in an environment where everyone is smoking um so that reason it, it it's hard to quit but i really want to quit now because um i have a little um son at home and of course i definitely don't want to be smoking around him so that's why i wanted some help okay let me tell you first that it's a good point from you to start to quit smoking mm -hmm. because it has a lot of benefits one of them is that it will reduce your blood pressure you now come for second time for refill your uh, hypertensive medication mm -hmm. and uh, cigarette smoking is the one that will help with this cigarette smoking cessation i mean is the one that will help with this actually it also reduces cardiac disease it will also help in lowering the monthly cost with you because actually uh, smoking it will cost you uh, much more money than uh, on a smoker yeah. Uh, for f family safety, because I, I know that you have uh, a two-year-old uh, uh, child at home and uh, this will be more safer for him. Mm -hmm. So we can start actually from now with uh, quitting smoking plans. Yeah. So what, what kinds of things can, can I use? Because, you know, you hear about e-cigarettes, you hear about vaping, um, you hear about patches and tablets. What do you think would be... Uh... Okay, that's a good question. And uh, this stuff are not uh, safety. They have, don't have a 100% safe issues because vape and electronic cigarettes, they uh, have uh, mixtures of chemicals, plus they still have nicotine dose. And the other things we can start with is what's called a combined approach. Combined approach is to start with a nicotine replacement therapy or electronic replacement patches and some medications. These medications will help you to quit smoking by relaxing you and will control your craving and your mood. And this patches, it has a lower dosage of nicotine that will make you not have the craving for the nicotine. And uh, it's called the combined approach because we will have to consider other issues like uh, uh, we will have to have a supporting group therapy and uh, we will also may have considered to uh, avoid triggering situations. You mentioned that you uh, go around with uh, some friends who are smokers. We will have to avoid this. Well, that's the thing. Um, well, first of all, <clears throat> um, you're talking about combination therapy. Honestly, that sounds too complex. Um, I was looking, I was hoping for something much simpler, uh, which is why I mentioned about the e-cigarettes and um, vaping, because I see a lot of my friends um, 
doing that. Um, and the other thing about group, you had mentioned also group therapy. But the thing about it is, as I said, I'm a bartender. Um, during the day, I have to catch my rest. I need to spend some time with my family. So I don't know if going to group meetings, you know, would really work for me. Yeah, but you mentioned that you want to quit smoking and most people who used to have electronic cigarettes or vaping, they had a relapse. It wasn't successful for them to quit smoking. Plus, if we only dependent on uh, one approach like medication or nicotine replacement therapy without going with uh, supporting groups or without avoiding the triggers, like uh, to sit with someone who is a smoker and he began to give you a cigarette, I think this approach will not also work 100%. Okay, so the combined approach is the best one. It has a lot of advantage, has a high success rate, and there is a lower relapse rate for you. All right. Well, if you think then that that would work, I suppose I, at least I can, I can give it a try. Thank you. Yeah. That is the end of the role play.